Mm, that's drunk. Before ID Software created Doom, which dominated and revolutionized the gaming industry in the mid-90s, they had Wolfenstein 3D, the PC game that first popularized first-person shooters and essentially put the genre on the map. You play as BJ Blazkowicz, an American spy during World War II. He gets captured and must escape Castle Wolfenstein. This was major stuff back then, not just for the innovative gameplay, which was incredibly fast-paced from a first-person perspective, but all the different maps, weapons, enemies, and yes, the crazy violence were all exhilarating and fun as hell. So naturally, Wolfenstein's success led to many, many ports, everything from Apple II GS, Macintosh, 3DO, Jaguar, Game Boy Advance, and the Super Nintendo, where the game's story got a total makeover. This time, BJ Blazkowicz must infiltrate the master state, not to be confused with Germany, since the Statmeister, not to be confused with Hitler, and his forces, not to be confused with Nazis, are determined to rule the world, not to be confused with declaring war on the rest of the world in an event most people refer to as World War II. Yeah, okay. So, you turn the game on, and, uh, wow. Yup, that's right, if you want to play through Wolfenstein 3D on Super Nintendo, these are the graphics you gotta contend with, and it's not pretty, to say the least. This game was ported in 1994, and to the developer's credit, I'm sure they did the best they could, given the limitations of the Super Nintendo. I mean, this was originally made as a DOS game, and the VGA standard DOS resolution at the time was 320 by 200 whereas the Super Nintendo could only output 256 by 224 And not only that, the only real way to make this game work was to run it on kind of an upscaled mode 7 sort of a deal, because unlike the Doom port on SNES, there was no CPU helper chip, they just had to make do with the original hardware. It also definitely doesn't help that the wall textures on the DOS version were 64x64, 64 64, and they were half that on the Super Nintendo edition. There was a precedent for this kind of game on Super Nintendo, well kind of. Take a look at Mech Warrior, which was released in February 1993, yeah it's not pretty, but it's still a perfectly decent game that uses a first-person shooter perspective along with a Mode 7 effect. But Wolfenstein 3D? Yeah, this just isn't working. The viewing area is just so small, and what am I even looking at here? And the bad visuals don't stop with the game. Look at this box art. What, is this Jared Leto's next role after the Joker? So graphically, the game is a mess, but hey, at least the sound is hilarious. You gotta love those voice samples, those are great. If you do really want to play through this one, you gotta get through 30 total maps spread out across 6 levels on 3 lives, and there is a password system here as well. And to the game's credit, the controls are pretty dang responsive. Better than the laggy, sluggish controls of the SNES Doom port, holding X or Y will have you run while you move using the D-pad, A fires your weapon, L and R strafe left and right, select cycles through the 6 total weapons you can use, a knife, a pistol, machine gun, gatling gun, rocket launcher, launcher and flamethrower, and start brings up the map, although unfortunately you can't move while the map is up, you gotta switch back and forth. You run into all sorts of wacky enemies like mutants, zombies, and rodents of unusual size, but I don't think they exist. Oh wait, there they are. I have to admit, even on Super Nintendo, this game does maintain kind of a goofy personality to it. Between the voice samples and gunning down a ridiculous number of soldiers and officers, there's also plenty of secrets here you can find by pushing on certain walls, so that's cool. Another thing this game has going for it is that, believe it or not, it's compatible with the Super Nintendo mouse. Just click left to fire, right click to move forward, double right click to open doors, and move the mouse forward to run? Okay, it's just a wee bit clunky, but I appreciate that the feature is there. So yeah, if you can get past the graphics, and oh, who am I kidding? There's no getting past the graphics here. They are just way too awful to recommend this game. There's even some big time slowdown here that shows up when there's too many enemies on screen. Hey, take that, you Nazi. Oh wait, that's just a potted plant. I mean, geez Louise, that just about sums it up. I can't tell enemies apart from potted plants from a certain distance. All sorts of versions of this game are available for free on archive.org. Just go there instead to play this one. I do appreciate the effort that went into Wolfenstein 3D for Super Nintendo, and I'm sure if this is the only thing you had as a kid, then you probably like it, but if you want to play it today, it's a total stay away. Alright, I want to thank you for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.